When they were in their heyday, Crosby and Malkin were probably the most terrifying duo in the National Hockey League. However, yes, Evgeny Malkin was perennially in Sidney Crosby's shadow. But what a lot of people tend to forget when they think about, oh, Crosby and Malkin, and it's the reason 71 isn't in 87's shadow as much as you might think, is that when Crosby was suffering from injury after injury in the early 2010s and missing a ton of time, Malkin is the one who put that Pittsburgh Penguins team on his back. He was winning heart trophies, he was putting up points like nobody's business, and he was the guy. And there's been a few times in their careers together where Malkin has grabbed the rock and said, hey, I'm the guy here. Now, if we flip the coin to a similar situation going on in Edmonton right now with McDavid and Dreisaitl, a lot of people, I mean, you can even read the title of this, Dreisaitl having his own historic success in McDavid's shadow. Now, everyone understands that what Connor McDavid is doing is out of this world. It's it's other worldly. He's basically an alien here putting up the points and the goals that he is right now. And then you've got Paul Maurice coming out and saying, poor Leon can't get his name in the paper. He's got 100 points and he's anonymous. Now, I saw a tweet the other day, can't remember who it was, it was an Oilers fan to be sure, who said that Leon Dreisaitl is better than Jerome McGinley was with the Calgary Flames. Now, of course, part of this was to try and rile up some uh, some conversations, some friction, we'll say, from Flames fans. But it got me thinking, as a Flames fan, and you know what? I think he might be onto something. And, and I love Jerome McGinley so much, but Leon Dreisaitl is on another planet here and yes he gets talked about in McDavid's shadow all the time and he's not as good as Connor blah 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 he's a McDavid merchant and without him he wouldn't be half as good I hear all this stuff about Leon we've talked about it before but in his own right Leon Dreisaitl is not just a superstar he is an elite franchise player it just so happens that for some unfair hockey god reason Edmonton has two guys like that. Like, just because McDavid is a franchise-altering elite player doesn't mean that Leon isn't also one. Like, the dude has two 50-goal seasons. He's gonna make it three this year, and multiple 100-point seasons, including 116 points this year. The most I've ever seen from a Calgary Flame was Johnny Gaudreau putting up 115 last year, and Leon has 116, and he's in nobody's heart trophy conversation or or MVP or anything like that, and rightfully so. McDavid is on another planet, like I said, but still, what Leon's doing is incredible. And not to throw shade at a guy like Joe Thornton or Ryan Getzlaff or anything, but it's not like he's got, you know, 10 goals and 90 assists or anything like that. Like, the dude can score as well as he can pass, and man, is he a complete player. Yeah, I just find it super strange, because it's not like Leon's always been in Connor's shadow. Like, I know Connor's done some stuff that I don't know if anyone will be able to replicate in the modern NHL, but Leon has taken the ball just like Malkin did and said, hey, I'm going to run with it here. I'm the guy. He's done it, right? Like he has an Art Ross, a Hart Trophy. When McDavid went down a couple of times, Leon led the team. He was the guy. So he's done it, right? He's proven it. So it's just strange to me what we see about Leon Dreisettle and having guys like Paul Maurice come out and say this. um, And it is kind of sad because... People don't recognize how good Leon Dreisaitl is in his own right. Separate from everything else going on around him, he is a phenomenal elite player here. And let's put some respect on his name in that way. And not just, oh, he's in McDavid's shadow or blah, 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 whatever you want to say. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.